Silken here from Devilishly Deviant with another quick review of a product that I picked up very recently. This is the Moleskin Passions Film Journal. I'll lift that up so you can see that a bit better. Hopefully that is in shot for you. What this is, is a journal that lets you document the mugs in your life. So you have got the film journal, which is the one I've got. You've got a wine journal, there's an animal journal as well, cat journal, a travel journal, cooking journal lots and lots of different journals to help you document your interests uh, so what i'll do is i'll show you inside the journal and then i'll talk a bit more about why i've purchased it so going inside you've got the really nice kind of classic in case of loss please return to and you can fill out your address if you'd like to and offer a, a reward should you wish to do so uh, coming inside you have got uh, a blank page there for whatever you'd like to put there um, some planning pages so you can plan out what what you're going to write in you've got the event date notes there so if you're going to a film festival for example this could be really useful for you uh, coming back inside there's a list of film festivals so you've got you know them broken up by areas so you've got africa north and central america south america asia europe etc etc so that's good if you're planning if you'd like to go to any film festivals and you want, or you want to discover some new film festivals this is where you're going to find that information uh, another blank page here and then this is where we get into the journal itself so this is the kind of thing you're going to be uh, given down here you've got an index this is a through z of uh, so say for example you're going to put american hustle into here you want a so you're on the right page you fill in the title up here the country and year title and original language if it differs from the title that you have genre of the film director any awards that it's won who it stars uh, any memorable quotes that you that you want to keep in here when where and who with that you saw it with uh, any opinion you have about the film down in this box here uh, any additional notes and also you've got a five star rating system down the bottom down the bottom there for you as well the five star rating and that carries out throughout a to z uh, within each uh letter of the alphabet you get roughly i think I'll just double check for you roughly four entries one two three four oh, is it more than that was it five hold on a second cut 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 we get one two three four Yeah, you get roughly four entries. You get four entries per category, which is really cool. Uh, if we come out of the indexing section and go back to the main part of the book, to the uh, cut, to the next part, uh, you've got some blank spaces here. So if you run out of room in the main section, you can add notes down here. You've also got customizable tab tabs down the side here as well. Uh, in the back of the moleskin there are some stickers that you can fill out and there's some pre-filled ones as well for you uh, so that's about it really and then you've got it just carries on blank pages right the way throughout uh, there's some plain paper as well in the back there for anything you may like to put in maybe some pictures or some quotes or some people you've met or, or whatever you know details of them here you've got an index so you so for example american hustle if you put it on the first entry would be page seven so you'd know to turn to page seven hopefully you can see that quite clearly there and that goes all the way through to z as well for you uh, and there's a note there's a section here for your personalized tabs as well they go in here blank pages over on this side so that's it for the main journal you also get a really nice uh, lever kind of section that folds out like this and inside here oops mine seems to have got a bit bent out of shape but, uh, so there are the stickers so you, that have got things like uh, my favorites online stores contacts to remember my library events online bookshop cinemas uh, release dates news sites magazines the worst uh, reference sites films on demand soundtracks best performances and uh, my YouTube. Also, as I said before, you've got one, two, three, four, five blank stickers along the bottom there for customising your tabs as well. Put that to one side. And some more stickers here as well. You've got stuff like best ever, some stars, some pictures of film reel, festivals, some Oscars stickers right here as well. Hopefully you can see the Oscars stickers. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, TV, CD, music, 
in different bits and pieces there and I think that's the same there we are there's some more there as well some more stickers you've got heart this a smiley face sad face quotes different things on that and that's just the book that, that comes at the beginning so I won't bore you with that that's just translations if if you do uh, want to translate the um, pages into any other language I believe they're all in there for you the history of moleskin there as well for you so if you want to learn a bit more about moleskin you can do yeah this retails for around the 17 pounds mark so if you're looking to pick one up um, it's really is a nice sort of thing to have I'm going to be using it for documenting the films that I watched this year um, I also document on an online website called letterboxd.com which I'm hoping to uh, talk about in a future video because I really think you guys should check that out as well but this has been the Moleskin Film Journal uh, by Moleskin Passion, by the Moleskin's Passions range. Use any Moleskin products or are there similar products on the market that you want to let people know about? Leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, as always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Come and visit me on my website, devilishlydeviant.net. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Silken1987. Or like the Devilishly Deviant Facebook page, which is just Devilishly Deviant. Whatever you're up to, have a nice day.